Hey guys, welcome back to InventBox. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Layers tab over here. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and open up a new file. And over here in the Layers, you'll see there's Layer 1 and Layer 2. So if we select Layer 1, this is kind of our background. So if we go to Brush Presets, of course, you have all these brush presets you can set the background as. If you just do something, or some weird, cool doodle thing. Just like that. And. So we'll kind of get this, it's like a rustic pattern. Okay. Just like that. And if we go to layer two, you can see if I change, say, the color to red, and do a little bit of red, that layer is above the first layer. And you can see now it has that cool black background which really gives the red quite a pop just like that so another example is if I create a new file again we can go to layer one and actually just let's create a new one you can click down here or you can just hit insert on your keyboard but let's go to layer one and just make a circle I'll make a circle right here a red circle go to layers then go here to layer five Make a green circle and layer two. Let's make a blue circle. So now we have these three circles all on different layers. So if I go to the move tool. If I take the blue circle, which is the layer that I'm selected on, it's going to be above everything since it's on the top layer. But if I take layer 1, which is the one with the red circle, and put that layer on top, and then put this layer on top, this layer right there, oops, let do that real quick. If I take layer 5, oops, ah, if I put layer 5 up 1, then now if I take the green layer, it's going to be above the blue and the red. And if I stack these just like this, you can see if I'm you can see the different layers they're all on. And right here is like an eyeball. If you click that, you'll see that color disappear. The layer that it's on. So layer two, if you click that, it'll make the blue disappear. If you click layer five, which is the green one, just the green one will disappear. And same thing with layer one. So that's actually kind of all that's in it with layers. Of course, it's just actually kind of the same concept with every other object. You can have a lot more complicated objects. Just select what layer you want them to draw on. So if I want to go to layer two, which has the blue circle, and I draw something, it will draw underneath the green circle. For if I want to go now on layer 5, this will go above. Let me change the color so you can see. Now this will be going above layer 2, which was the blue circle. So that's what the different layers can do. And you'll be using this basically with every single object or everything you draw. It's super useful. 
So I hope this video is useful to you guys. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.